Television. It's a technology that has shaped how we see the world, bringing entertainment, news, and culture into our homes for nearly a century. But how often do we stop to think about the person who made it all possible? While names like Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla dominate discussions of innovation, one man's contributions are often overlooked. Philo Farnsworth, the forgotten inventor of television. From a young farm boy in rural Utah to the creator of a technology that changed the world, Farnsworth's journey is one of genius, determination, and tragedy. Join us as we explore the life and legacy of the man who brought moving images to life and forever changed the way we connect with the world. Philo Taylor Farnsworth was born on August 19, 1906, in a small log cabin in Beaver, Utah. His family lived a humble life as farmers, but even at a young age, Philo's interests were anything but ordinary. While other kids were playing games, Philo was reading science magazines and taking apart household gadgets just to see how they worked. When the Farnsworth family moved to Rigby, Idaho, Philo found his true calling. At the age of 14, while plowing a field, he had an epiphany. He realized that an electronic system could capture moving images breaking them down into lines of light and transmitting them onto a screen. This idea, formed in the middle of a dusty field, would become the blueprint for the television. Philo's time on the farm wasn't just about chores. It was his personal laboratory. The lines left by the plow in the dirt inspired his idea for scanning images line by line. It was a simple observation with world-changing implications. By the time Philo was 15, he was already sketching designs for his image dissector, a device that would electronically scan images for broadcast. His high school science teacher, Justin Tolman, was so impressed that he kept Philo's sketches, knowing they were something extraordinary. In 1926, Farnsworth moved to California, where he secured funding from investors to bring his vision to life. He set up a laboratory in San Francisco, working tirelessly with a small team of engineers. Philo was just 21 years old, but his mind was already years ahead of his time. In 1927, the world's first television transmission took place. Using his image dissector, Philo transmitted the first electronic image, a simple straight line. It wasn't glamorous, but it was a historic moment that proved his concept worked. The following year, he transmitted the first live image, a dollar sign, symbolizing the financial support of his investors. While many of us think of early television as full of glamorous performers and variety shows, Farnsworth's first broadcast was humble, just a straight line and a dollar sign. Yet these simple images laid the foundation for the entertainment industry as we know it. But Farnsworth's journey wasn't without its challenges. His success caught the attention of RCA and their head engineer, Vladimir Zworykin, who had been working on a similar concept. RCA, a corporate giant, claimed they held patents for television technology, leading to a bitter legal battle that would haunt Farnsworth for years. In 1930, Philo Farnsworth was granted the first patent for an all-electronic television system, cementing his status as the true inventor of television. But his battle with RCA was far from over. Despite winning the patent fight in 1934, the legal fees drained his resources, and RCA continued to dominate the market. Meanwhile, Farnsworth continued to innovate. During World War II, he shifted his focus to radar technology, contributing to the war effort and further demonstrating his genius. Yet as television became a household staple in the post-war era, Farnsworth's name faded into obscurity. The stress of legal battles and financial struggles took a toll on Farnsworth's health and personal life. He often spoke about the burden of being an innovator, saying, I invented television but it seems I'm the one paying for it. Despite these challenges, Farnsworth remained committed to his work, holding over 300 patents by the end of his life. His contributions to television, radar, and nuclear fusion were groundbreaking, but recognition always seemed to elude him. His work paved the way for the television industry, which has since become a cornerstone of global communication and culture. In 1984, the U.S. Congress officially recognized Farnsworth's contributions, and his name was added to the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Farnsworth's wife, Elma Pem Farnsworth, was his partner in both life and work. 
After his death, she dedicated herself to preserving his legacy, ensuring that the world would one day know the name Philo Farnsworth. Today, Farnsworth's story is a reminder of the power of innovation and the resilience required to challenge giants. His image dissector may have been the start, but his impact extends far beyond that first television screen. Philo Farnsworth may have been the forgotten inventor of television, but his contributions continue to shape our lives every time we turn on a screen. Let his story inspire us to dream big, think differently, and never give up, even when the odds are against us. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and legacy of Philo Farnsworth, the man who turned vision into reality. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more stories of the innovators who changed our world.